So, I've got the Tomb King Fever. So you can see here, I bought this from TL, TXARLI Factory. They're the Tomb Cataphracts. Here we go, that's what they look like in the back. So I brought this from Kickstarter ages ago. Okay, let's have a look what's going on. Slides off here. And it comes this nice little box. You open it here, like that. Da -da -da. Let's see what's got here. It's got foam. Good. Good to foam. A little. Uh, it's about before cleaning it and stuff like that. All right, and then here are the miniatures. Oh, pretty cool, eh? Ah, so one, two, three. Three miniatures in the pack. Then I go over here, and you get the three skeletons. Uh, Pretty cool. Very cool. And then tail. <laughs> and you get three big bases. You got magnets in it as well, I guess. Yeah. Pretty cool. So here are the minis outside of the box. They're pretty, there's not, to be honest, there's not much um, work to be done on them, like in terms of mold lines and um, cleaning up. There's a little bit on the snake, but it's easily missed. So there's the torso, here's the head and the tail. I mean, this head's a bit derpy. It's not my favorite head. And here's the tail, so much detail, it's really cool. I really like the look of them. So many trinkets, I really can't wait to paint these. And here's a small tail. So, uh, each tail comes with like, uh, sorry, each part comes with a little tab, which has a number, and they match, see here, so this is number three. So all the pieces of number three fit together, and it's I'm just snapping them off now because I'm um, just being very quick. I'll come back to it later with a knife and clippers. And uh, yeah, see, this fits perfectly together. There's a bit of gap. Gap. There's a gap here. Um, so I might fit it in with uh, some. Um, is it midi put? Not midi put. The filling cream. I forgot the name of it now. Vallejo has it. Midi put? It's driving me mad now. Uh, filling putty <laughs> anyway so here's the head it's on a ball joint uh, upside down <laughs> maybe it's uh, it's um, it could be magnetized I, I guess uh, but I don't think there's any point but I guess if you want it to swivel around and you know look different I guess you could and and the last part and these parts they fit together so well like I'm not even going to use any glue and I could just leave some parts because they fit so well. It's a very satisfying feeling. And here they are, fully built. So these are awesome. Really loving these. A uh, bit more focused here. I'm really in love with the riders. They come out really well. I do feel the riders are a bit, the skeletons are a bit larger than probably the GW models. But that's not a problem to be honest. They just look amazing. I'm really excited to paint these models. So this is the first one. It's not my favorite one, but I still like it. I've only um, blue tacked them. <laughs> it fell off the base. I've only blue tacked them on because I think it'd be easier for painting later on. And I'm currently printing some toppers, Egyptian themed toppers. Like they, they stick on top of the bases. I'll paint them separately. This face is pretty cool. It's, uh, as you can see the gap here it doesn't bother me too much I don't know would, would you um, fill it if it was your model or would you just ignore it 
I like this face a lot on the snake. It's pretty cool. I think um, it's definitely my favorite. Here's some other models from the range. So the um, Colossus or the Bone Giant, I think it's called. This model alone made me want to get this set. When I saw it, I was like, wow, this is cool. I've already added texture to this base. I've zenithed it. And as you can see, it's really popping. So I might use contrast on this. Uh, would you like me to do a painting video on this model too? I'll be very happy to record myself painting it. And here's the third set, which is, I thought it was the same kit. Uh, but they're actually a little bit different. The bottom parts are, different, are, the, are the same, but then the um, torso and the heads are different, and arms. These are so cool. I really like the faces. They're very sinister. Very cool. These are the um, proxies for Sepulchre Guard. Is that what they're called? Anyway, they're, they're just awesome. I love the faces on these more than the... Uh, the cataphracts. Oh, I can't even pronounce the name. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Um, but yeah, these faces are so much more sinister and Tomb King esque. I, I feel they really look cool. I really can't wait to paint them all. I think for the video, I guess I could just paint them all at the same time and just document myself painting them all if you're interested. I think I might go black marble for these as well. Okay, so I've just 3D printed some um, skeletons from the same company. Uh, they're pretty cool. Look at that. So this is the banner bearer. Um, I do think these skeletons. I haven't changed the scale or anything. This is how they, how the files were originally meant to be, like the, the size and so on. Uh, I do feel they're a little bit bigger than probably the Games Workshop skeletons. Here's a size comparison next to the Colossus, the Bone Giant. So this is relatively tall. Um, smaller than an Imperial Knight, but big enough though. Um, and then, so, but I think I don't mind that they're a bit taller than regular Skeleton Warriors because these are like the proxies for Temple Guard. So I think they, it's, they're more elite. So it's pretty cool that they are larger, should we say. Here's the horn blower. I chose the open mouth uh, face for this one, even though it's not really <laughs> next to the horn itself. Um, and then this is like a regular infantry. There you go. I gave them spears. Um, I didn't attach the um, shields yet for painting purposes. So this is one of the shields. Oops, there you go. Okay. So that's the back, wooden, and then this is the front. So it's got a skull in the middle. So these are going to be the gold and red and blue. I think I'll paint mine. There we go. Uh, and also I bought these bases from the same company. Uh, I chose toppers because I want to stick them on top of the new square bases. I don't know what, I wish I didn't do that now. I wish I just printed the um, regular bases instead of poppers. Anyway, it's all done anyway. But they're really great. I'm pretty ha happy with them. I'm also buying the, the big box from Games Workshop. So I'll just add these to that um, army because I won't be joining any tournaments or anything. So I can use proxies with my friends. They don't care, <laughs> you know. Um, I can also show another size comparison. So I'm currently working on this miniature, the big pig. It's not finished yet, but I'm currently filming a video for this and it'll come out soon. Uh, so size comparison, it's quite similar actually, pretty impressive. So if this skeleton unit's gonna be against uh, a foe this size, that's what you'd expect. Overall, I'm pretty, chuffed with them. I was very excited to print them. Oh, the files themselves are actually individual. So you have a head, oops, sorry. You have a head, torso, legs, 
shield arm, sword or banner or spear or horn. And that's it really. And they come in fives, so it's five variations for each one. But yeah, I'm very proud. I'm, I'm, I'm just loving pulling these square bases together. Really feels great to be doing this again. Uh, I'll be posting some videos painting all these Tomb, Tomb King models later on as well. So I hope you tune in for that. And if you have any uh, comments or any suggestions, or if you're interested in me for paint some, uh, any painting videos, that are a bit more like, say, I haven't paint painted it and you'd like to see it painted in my style or if you're not too sure how to paint certain things then I'll be happy to record a video documenting myself painting. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time for the painting Tomb King video. Bye!